Hey, beautiful. Welcome, welcome. I hope you are doing absolutely marvelously today. I'm Shandy, and I have a gorgeous beginner level knit shawl pattern to show you called Spring Carnival. It is a wearable, easy, elongated triangle pattern, and it only uses basic stitches like knits, pearls, yarn overs, knit two togethers. So if you know how to do those stitches and you've made a few projects, hopefully you should have no problem making this pattern. One thing I really love about this pattern is that it actually looks more complex than it is, and that's just due to the color changes and then the texture changes, but they're all just made up of those basic stitches. I'm gonna actually show you two different versions today. This version is our original version, and we made it in these gorgeous, bright spring colors. They're nice and bright and popping. And then, since we're heading into fall, we thought we would do a more muted autumn palette. So this one is, oh, just so lovely in this beautiful greens and plum tones and this champagne color. You could do a summer version in bright colors or a winter version in icy blues and whites. Really just make it your own. As a matter of fact, just make one for all the seasons and you'll be good to go. Oh, and I hope this spring carnival shawl reminds you that Every day can feel like spring, and every day can be full of wonder and joy. So hopefully you keep that in mind while you're knitting this pattern. For those that are curious, the yarn we used in this shawl is our buttery and glowing alpaca silk DK. I love this yarn so much. As you can see, it makes really, really gorgeous shawls, and I personally love it, and I reach for it all the time when I have a new sweater I wanna make or a cardigan. It just drapes. It has a really great combination of drape versus structure, and it just feels so cozy really really love it so i'm going to show you just how easy it is to work this shawl today by demonstrating a few of the sections for you to get started we're going to cast on five stitches We're gonna begin with section one of this pattern and I'll demonstrate first rows one through four and you're gonna see just how easy these are. For row number one, we are just gonna start by knitting every stitch across. For this row, that is five stitches. Three, four, and five. Okay, you're gonna turn and then this might blow your mind, but for row two, we're gonna knit every stitch again. One, two, three, four, and five. So that's row two. Now we're gonna turn and work row three. This one, we're gonna increase one stitch. And how we do that is we knit the first stitch. Then we're gonna knit one front and back. So you go ahead and start to knit that stitch, but don't drop it off your left needle. Wrap your right needle around and insert it into the back leg of that same stitch and knit that. So you've now created two stitches out of one. Then you can drop that off and complete your row by knitting the remaining stitches in that row. So instead of five, you should now have six stitches on your needle. And then to work row four, you are just gonna, once again, knit every stitch across your row. I told you it was super easy stuff here. Four, five, and six. I told you those rows are easy. Let's go ahead and move into rows five through eight of this section. Let's go ahead and work row five. So this is another easy row. You just knit every stitch across your row. Then you turn, and for row six, you're gonna start by knitting two, one, two, then bring your yarn to the front and you're gonna purl across your row until you have two stitches left. So we're already there. Put your yarn to the back and then you're gonna finish by knitting two. Should look like this. Then turn. And for row seven, we're gonna start with a knit one and this is another increase row. So to increase a stitch, 
we're going to knit one front and back. Knit into the front of that next stitch, swing your needle around the back, knit also into the back leg of that same stitch, and then slide that stitch off your left needle, and then continue knitting the remainder of the stitches on that row. There's what you've got. Then you're going to turn and work row eight, and we're just going to repeat row six again. And that is knit two, bring your yarn to the front, and purl every stitch across until you have two stitches left. Move your yarn to the back, and then you're going to knit those final two stitches. And here's what you should be looking at at this point. The pattern isn't going to ask you to repeat those rows a multiple of times. And for all of the specifics for this pattern, you can download it at expressionfiberarts.com and we will also put the direct link in the description for you. Now, the pattern is going to ask you to then repeat rows one through four, which I'm going to go ahead and do so I can get to an even number of stitches. You should have completed section one by now. I'm just gonna do a small swatch today, so I'm gonna go ahead and move into section two. For this section, we're gonna be using multiple colors, so we're gonna go ahead and drop that first color, pick up our second one, and work rows one through four. We're gonna drop our first color and pick up our second color and use that. So let's start with row one. We're gonna begin with a knit two, one and two. Then we're going to repeat across our row, yarn over, knit two together until we have two stitches left. Yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, and when you have two stitches left on that row, you are going to knit them. Now let's go ahead and turn. For row two of that section, we are going to start with a knit two, one, two, then we're going to purl across until we have two stitches left, making sure to bring your yarn to the front when you purl, and then when there's two stitches left on that row, move your yarn to the back, and then knit those final two stitches. Just give that a little cinch so it stays nice and tight there. Okay, moving on to row three of this section. We're gonna begin with a knit one and a knit front and back. So we are increasing this row. Knit one, and then knit one into the front of that stitch, swing around, knit into the back of that stitch. So we've just increased one stitch. Then we're gonna repeat across our row until there's two stitches left, yarn over, knit two together. Again, yarn over, knit two together, and we're down to two stitches, so we are going to knit them. And here's that row for you. You can see we're getting these little eyelet holes here. Go ahead and turn. Now to work row four, we are going to knit two to begin. Then bring your yarn to the front. Purl all those stitches all the way across until you have two stitches left on your needle. Send your yarn to the back and then knit those final two stitches. And here's what you should see. Now for rows five through eight of this section, we're actually going to drop the second color we were just using and we're going to pick up our first color again and work those rows with that color. To start on row five, we're going to drop that second color and pick up that first color we were working with and just pull it up the side. This way you won't have a bunch of ends to weave in when you're finished with your shawl. Let's go ahead and begin by knitting every stitch this row. Very, very easy pattern. Very meditative. All right, there's row five. Go ahead and turn. 
And now row six is another easy row. You're just going to knit every stitch across again. And here's what you should have so far. Now go ahead and turn. In row seven, you're gonna begin with a knit one. Then we're going to increase again by working a knit one front, swinging around and knitting into the back as well. So we've turned one stitch into two. And then we just complete this row by knitting every stitch all the way across to the end. Here's what you should be seeing. So beautiful. Go ahead and turn and let's work row eight. And yet again, we have another super easy row. You're just gonna knit every stitch across this row. It's quite fun, quite simple. And there you have it. So if you can work those sections, you can work the rest of the shawl. It is just different combinations of those stitches. Now I am gonna go ahead and show you how to work rows five through eight of section five, just so you can see that one as well. Here's how you work rows five and six of that section. For row five of section five, you're gonna start with a knit two. One, two. Then you're gonna repeat across your row, purl one, knit one, until you have three stitches left. Bring your yarn to the front and purl one. Send it to the back and knit one. Bring it to the front and purl one. Send it to the back and knit one. Continue repeating all the way across your row and you will have more stitches than this. I just wanted to demonstrate a small swatch today. When you have three stitches left, you're going to purl one and then knit two. All right, go ahead and turn. Moving on to row six of this section, we're gonna work the same thing. Let's do it again, knit two. Then you're gonna repeat across your row, purl one, knit one, knit one. And you should be purling the little Vs. And when you come to a little pearl bump, a little pearl necklace, you're knitting those. There's a V, you purl it. We knit this one because it has a little pearl necklace. And when you come to the final three stitches, you finish off with a pearl and then a knit two. Let's go ahead and finish up this tutorial by working rows seven and eight of section five. Row seven, you're gonna start with a knit one. And this is an increase row. So next you work a knit one front and back. Knit into the front, swing it around, and knit into the back of that same stitch. Then you repeat across, purl one, knit one, until you have three stitches left. So again, you should be purling when you come to those Vs, and then knitting the stitches that have the little purl bumps. Purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. And when you come to the final three stitches, you're gonna purl one, knit two. We're actually creating seed stitch here in the center. Go ahead and turn. Now we're gonna work row eight. So we start with a knit two. One, two. Then you repeat across your row, purl one, knit one, to the last two stitches. Purl one, knit one. Purl one, knit one, and again, just make sure when you come to a little V, you purl it, and when you come to a stitch with a purl necklace, you knit it. Purl, knit, and then the final two stitches, you knit them. And it should look like this. And the rest of the shawl is that simple. You're just combining those stitches in different ways to create the different sections changing colors as the pattern dictates or as you wish. 
or if you feel more comfortable, you can just work the whole thing in one color. Also, you can stop working on this shawl at any time since it is a growing triangle. So if you run out of yarn or if you just like the way it looks before you've reached the end of the pattern instructions, you can just be done and call it a day. And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it really helped you and that you make your own beautiful version of this pattern. We would absolutely love to see it. Make sure you hop on over to Expression fiberarts.com and download this pattern and you can also click the direct link in the description box and whatever you do go out and make this day this beautiful day absolutely amazing thank you again i'm gonna see you in the next video bye bye for now ah, 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 ah. what are you doing that for suspenders and juicy <laughs> Transition. <laughs> ah, ooh, ah, round toes. Thank you for watching. Make sure to make today an amazing day. What? <laughs> what? You told me to react. Again. With round. Tunes. Remember to make today an amazing day because, you know, why not? <laughs> All right, thanks for joining. <laughs> Flawless. Have a wonderful day again, and I will see you in the next time again video. Bye. <laughs> I can't talk to you. Catch you next time, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.